Many have asked this very prescient question. What is a polycarp? What is a what is a polycarp? What is a polycarp? What is is it, what is it? Um, hmm. Hmm. Can I phone a friend? Oh. What is a polycarp? Well, according to Google. <laughs> A polycarp is a plastic fish. I mean, polyester, it just means plastic in a carp. Of course, everybody knows this is a large gold fish, so. Yeah, plastic fish. It's like a tarp, but it's a poly fabric that's used like a tarp, but it's called a carp because you, you put it over carts and lamps, so it's, it's a polycarp. It's for protecting them from the rain. I believe it is a female fish, um, a, a, a carp, but um, they've given it a name Polly, and I think the fish got that idea from Pollyanna, so it's actually a relatively uh, new name for fish. It's like the cousin to polyester, uh, except for like more fishy. Polly is Latin for many, and carp, as we all know, are large goldfish. It's like politics, many blood sucking, blood -sucking insects. <laughs> As far as I know, uh, polycarp, um, the origin of the term, is for the Asian carp um, that are infesting you know, the Mississippi River. When you run over them with a speedboat and the propeller chops them into lots of pieces, that's called polycarping. And all the, so that's the, the verb form. And when I have all the floating fish debris floating on the top of the river, that is polycarp. It's a fish with a lot of fins on it. Ooh, I like fish. Many fish. It's a spider. Many fish. Personally, I thought Finding Nemo. Many fish. I don't eat fish. Contrary to popular opinion, it has nothing to do with fish. It doesn't even have to do with the word many. It derives from, well, first of all, the root of it is karpas, which is the very first Greek word. If you ever study baby Greek, that's the first Greek word that you learn. It's the paradigm word. It means fruit. And it's not poly as we think of poly, but it's palu. It means rich fruit. Basically, it's a name that means fruitful.